Hey, how you doing? Today, I'm going to be showing you nine pedals in one. <laughs> this is the JHS Banzai. And normally when I do these pedal demos, I sort of just let the pedal do the talking. But since this is such an intricate pedal, I thought it would be helpful to sort of explain each mode before I played it so you can notice some of the subtle and nuanced differences between the nine different variations of the Tube Screamer. That's right. This Bonsai pedal from JHS contains nine of the most iconic tones made famous by different iterations of the Ibanez Tube Screamer. So enough talk, let's start off with the first mode, shall we? The OD-1, the original from 1977. And the way I'm going to be demonstrating these modes is taking a song from the exact year when the pedal was released and playing it. I'm gonna be using a bass crunch tone and then the pedal is going to be on top of it because that's what I think a Tube Screamer is best at doing, pushing an already pushed crunchy sound. So in 1977, Black Betty by Ram Jam came out and it has one of the coolest intros of a solo ever recorded. And you're gonna hear that now. Here are my tone settings for the OD-1. Moving along, we have the 808. This is from 1980. And in 1980, ACDC came out with Back in Black, the album. Have a drink on me, won't you? Here are my tone settings for the 808. <laughs> Quite delicious, wouldn't you say? Let's move along to 1982, when a band called Yes came out with the song Owner of a Lonely Heart. Here are my settings for the TS9. <laughs> Moving along, we reach 1985-86 era. Tears for Fears came out with the song, Everybody Wants to Rule the World. How true, how true. This Tube Screamer iteration is the MSL. Although it has metal in the name, according to this manual, it doesn't quite inspire the modern metal gent we all think of. Here are my settings for the MSL. <laughs> Now we've arrived to 1986, 87, 88 era, and this is the TS-10. Apparently, John Mayer was responsible for making this particular pedal famous with its raunchy, well, I'll let JHS tell me, a bluesy, crisp, more low-end roll-off and low-gain sound. Works great for single coils. I believe this is an excellent way to achieve that SRV sound as well. Here are my settings for the TS-10. <laughs> Moving along to 1989, my birth year, the XR. This is a very rock and roll sound, and 
I think it can only be summed up by playing the most rock and roll song ever recorded, Rockin' in the Free World by Neil Young. Here are my settings for the XR. <laughs> The TS7 is where we'll go next, and we've jumped up to 1999. And one of my favorite songs to come out of that era was a Three Doors Down tune called Kryptonite. I know you don't think guitar when you think Three Doors Down, but this riff is super cool. And I thought I'd give it a little bit of modern edge by adding another string into the equation. Here are my settings for the TS7. <laughs> Moving forward, we reach the early aughts, 2002 to be precise, and one of my favorite songs to come out of this time was an Audio Slave song that you will certainly recognize, and I thought that this one would be appropriate to read as well because this is the Keeley mod. That's right, Robert Keeley, I'm sure you've heard of him. Robert Keeley's classic mod tightens up the tone on the original, giving you smoother mid-range, high frequencies, and increased bass response. Let's put it to the test. Here are my settings for the Keeley Mod Plus. <laughs> The 2008 JHS Strong Mod. Yes, the JHS Strong Mod is more pronounced, much cleaner, and overall more powerful. JHS has been using this mod of a two screamer since 2008, and well, let me just tell you, it's quite delightful. And what better 2008 selection than a Rock on Tours song? It just makes you want to break stuff. Here are my settings for the JHS Strong Mod. <laughs> Well, there you have it, folks. The JHS Bonsai 9 Tube Screamer iterations in one glorious pedal. I would tell you to go down to the store and pick one up, but I think these pedals are pretty hard to come by. So be on the lookout on JHS Pedals' website. And, well, good luck getting one. This one's mine. Until next time, keep shredding. <laughs>